Hey everyone, this is Julia from Crocoblock, and in today's overview, we will take a closer look at the Jet Search Suggestions feature and its new widget for Elementor and a block for the WordPress block editor called Search Suggestions. If you are new to our channel, please make sure you are subscribed and don't forget to hit the notification bell. Also, if you want to see more useful tutorials, like this video and leave your comments down below. And now, let's get to this. The new widget Search Suggestions helps the user choose the most appropriate search phrase depending on the search query options that have already been used on this site or preset by the admin. For instance, you can set everything that way so the user will get a specific product suggestion. How does Search Suggestions work? The widget outputs a standard search form. When you start entering text in the search field, the widget looks for matching search queries in the database on this website and displays a list of queries containing the entered text, that is, suggestions. All suggestions are sorted by weight and, moreover, each suggestion can have one parent. Now let's take a closer look at the widget and its settings. First of all, to add or edit suggestions, go to your website dashboard, Crocoblock, Jet Plugins Settings, unfold the Jet Search tab, and click Suggestions. There is the Add New button at the top of the page. And then you can also see the settings where you can limit adding new entries submitted through the search suggestions widget per session. If the limit is set to zero, there is no restriction on adding new suggestions. Below is a search box to look for a specific suggestion and also a place where will be a list of either added suggestions or the words searched by users. If I proceed to the search page and try searching for something, this exact keyword will be displayed in the list. The list has five columns. The first one, ID with the unique number of the keyword. Then type. If you hover over this icon, you will get a pop-up that says unassigned suggestion. A name column contains the keyword previously entered into the search field. Then we have weight. Weight is the number of searches for this query. This means that if a suggestion has a weight of 1, this exact phrase or word was searched for once. And if its weight is 26, users searched it 26 times. The higher the weight, the higher this suggestion will be placed inside the dropdown in the search form. Once a user enters the exact keyword one more time, the weight of the suggestion in the database will increase by 1. And we also have actions to edit the suggestion or delete it. Firstly, you can edit the suggestion name then adjust its weight, and last but not least, set parent. Each suggestion can have one parent. When entering a search phrase, the widget will run a search in the suggestions database. If any of the found suggestions has a parent, then this parent item will supersede that suggestion and the sorting will be performed, taking into account the parent's weight. Let me manually add a suggestion with a typo. So now I have iPhone and iPhone with a typo suggestion. Now I will assign iPhone as a parent of the iPhone with a typo. The type icon has changed and now it shows a parent suggestion. Let me go back to the front end. 
So now if I start typing iPhone with a typographical error, I will be shown the parent suggestion which is iPhone, so it corrects my typo and leads me to the right keyword. That's the first use case of using the suggestions feature, however its functionality is way wider. I'm gonna add two more suggestions with different models and change their weight to make the user focus on the most recent one. So the previous model will have a weight 50 and the last one 100. Let's see how it's gonna look. Now we have a certain order and the user will see the recent models on top of the search suggestions. Isn't it cool? Of course, there is no limit and you can also set parents and adjust the settings according to your needs. And it's pretty much it here. Now let me introduce you the search suggestions widget. It looks similar to the Ajax search widget, however the key feature is its settings. Under the search form is placeholder text for the search field. Then show preloader switcher. It will show or hide the preloader, the other words loading animation before showing suggestions. If the option is enabled, a drop-down with a preloader will appear as soon as you start entering a search query and will be replaced by a list of suggestions afterward. Highlight searched text. It allows whether or not to highlight the entered text in the list of found suggestions. Number of suggestions lets you set the maximum number of suggestions displayed in the drop-down. Now the next one, show submit button switcher to show or hide the search button and of course the following options to set the button label and icon. Show categories list allows showing or hiding the category select. This select is not related to suggestions at the moment. Using it, you can select a category where the search will be performed later. Show suggestions below search form lets you display or hide the list of suggested search queries below the search form. Clicking on a suggestion in this list works similarly to selecting this suggestion in the form. In both cases, you will be redirected to the search page with the selected suggestion as a search query. So it allows setting where to get suggestions for this list. From the most popular search queries on the site, from the latest search queries, or manual input. With manual input, you just need to enter a list of search queries separated by commas. This list is not directly related to the suggestions database. When you click on these suggestions, their processing will occur as with a regular search query, meaning if it's already in the database, its weight will be increased by one. If this is a new request, it will be added to the suggestions database with a weight of 1. When set to most popular and latest, there will be also a number of suggestions options where you can set the maximum number of suggestions you want to show. Show suggestions on input focus. So instead of a horizontal list of suggestions below the form, the user will get a suggestion right after clicking on the search field. It has the same options of selecting the specific suggestions list and adjusting the number of options. 
And if you need to adjust the saved suggestions, you can always click this link right at the bottom of the settings section. Now let's proceed to the style tab. Here you will be able to change your color, background, typography, border radius and padding for the input bar, button, list of suggestions under the form, and a drop-down list. For drop-down list items, there are options for styling the hover state as well. And it's pretty much it. In addition, for the WordPress block editor users, we made it possible to use Ajax search suggestion block which has the same functionality and styling options. So the Jet Search Suggestions feature surprisingly can be a powerful tool that except for helping the users avoid typos, also will help you optimize search suggestions to enhance user or customer experience on your website. Don't hesitate to check the widget and share your thoughts in the comments down below. And give us a thumbs up if you enjoyed this overview and of course make sure you are subscribed. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.